Welcome everybody to one of the last Age of Empires campaigns we have, at least the last one that's in the game right now. It will be the Voices of Babylon. So this is the one where we play as the, get this, Babylonians. And uh, yeah, I, I know there's a scenario here where you just control a priest, and I think that might be this one. That's all I know. The small city-state of Babylon is growing under the energetic leadership of its new king, Hammurabi. You have been sent downriver to bring some enclaves of Sumerians and Akkadians into the fold. Use your powers of persuasion when you can, but do not hesitate to resort to war if they prove to be resistant. Duly noted. Uh, okay, I guess you... No, you start with one unit. Defeat the Akkadians and the Sumerians. We can support a population of 50 and are restricted to the Bronze Age. Use your priest to convert enemy villagers and military units. It is important your priest does not die until you've converted at least one or more villagers that can build a base. Uh, the town to the east may be your best bet for establishing a quick foothold, as it is the weakest of the two. Alright, here we go. I am a wolf on a mission. Don't worry, we're gonna get there eventually. Okay, yeah, you're just gonna chase the gazelle. Not gonna <laughs> attack a, a poor defenseless priest, are you? You're not gonna attack him? Yeah, nope. No, 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 no. Okay, those are some axe. No. No, you don't. Okay, let's say go to the east. To the east, we go. We are only in the Stone Age. Oh. Oh, wow. These guys have seen better days. 260 wood. I forget how much a TC is. Isn't it just 200 wood? Oh, come on now. Well, I guess this is a good way to introduce the Babylonians and... You know, they're a, uh, a monk sieve. I think it's a defensive and monk, or just defensive. I feel like I've played a lot of Babylonians. Okay, there's their town center. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Keep on forgetting to change my TC hotkey. I don't. I guess you could run into some clubmen or something. But yeah, those are just villagers. Don't mind me. Got you. That was an instant conversion. Have to slowly grow our economy. It's so good of the Acadians to be joining us like this. Oh, come on. You're just hanging around. Why does it feel so loud? Oh, I, I think I normally have it at 50, don't I? I don't know. I'd never be consistent in my settings. Alamas. So I have the feeling that we're not really going to need to worry about getting to the Bronze Age. It feels like some... Uh, some axemen will do the trick. I don't know, maybe it would be better to build the TC over here on the forage bushes. 
I just kind of, you know, coming from AoE 2, assume that Hunt gathers faster than berries, but I don't actually know that for a fact. Oh, the Sumerians clicked up. Well, I'm going to be housed shortly. 30, what I think, for a house? Yeah. That's why houses, I guess, were originally 30 wooden AoE 2. They just kept the value from AoE 1. It wasn't until the Forgotten that they changed it to 25 wood. Just to make builds smoother. But yeah, up until recently, an Art of War, I think it was the very first Art of War scenario, you actually had houses. Uh, you started with like two house foundations, but you also started with 140 wood, as if the person who made it was thinking that houses still costed 30 wood, and they hadn't for like a very long time. <laughs> Can I interest you in our Lord and Savior Doubt? Join the light. To be honest, I don't really know what makes this scenario so exciting for people. Maybe it was different in the AoE 1 version. Because this just feels very straightforward. Just, you know, build up and defeat the bad guys. Whoa there, Buster Brown. Okay. Okay. guys, I suppose. Go get him! All the resources over there. Do you really need that much for this level? Feels a mite excessive. Still, I need to figure out a way to get up to the feudal age. Or, tool age. Can I at least go up to the TC, I think. Stop it, you! Oh, they're enemies with each other. Okay, well, we can click up in just a moment. As in now. I, mean, I think this guy's fully upgraded anyway, so. Oh, no, you go. No.
Alas, you poor Yorick. Oh, that was a bowman? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter what I go for in the Tool Age. It's all the same, I think, for everybody. I mean, the Sumerians do have a pretty high score. Okay. I wonder if I should be at least a mite worried here. Oh yeah, we we'll get the cheaper eco upgrades. That's definitely helpful. Go ahead and cross the Tigris or the Euphrates or whichever one this is. It's one of those rivers. Oh, they trained a navy too. I can do that too, right? Yes, I can. Which means I very well could have an opportunity to say, Malay! Stable up. Let's go for some scouts. Oh. Uh, at least these guys have one native pierce armor. Wait, does that mean clubmen have more pierce armor than a, a hoplite? <laughs> yes, it does. Or Axeman, I guess. Oh, wow, we got a tower. Look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants Magoo. That's the, uh, their technical name. those, I suppose. Go for fishing ship, why not? We don't need no smelly... Uh, not Castle Age. Bronze Age. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yo, get get uh, get get working. Transport? What do you need that for, you goofball? Keep with 
clubmen and the dudes and the place with the people. Center. Let's not let that watchtower go up. Why not? Get in there, Scout. Push him back. Assert dominance. Yeah. Got it. Easy. All right. Hopefully that's it. I mean, I guess it was kind of cool just to start with the priest and have to convert your way to victory, but I guess that concept's kind of been done in so many AoE2, like, custom campaigns and all that. That it doesn't really feel that special, I guess, going back to the original, but... I guess we have to appreciate our origins, right? You know, you, you started with a humble priest down here next to all these resources you couldn't possibly ever need. <laughs> you have to go ahead and take the fight to the Akkadians and the Sumerians. I guess, yeah. Nothing too crazy there. Alrighty, guys, that was the Holy Man. Next up will be the Tigris Valley. See you guys next time for that.